Hi guys, it's Caitlin. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in so long. I filmed like a little tiny video for last week, but I don't think I ever put it up there. So I might just edit that and put it together too. Um, but yeah, how are you? I've missed you guys. I haven't even been watching YouTube. But I think today... It's kind of a crappy day out. I'm on vacation this week, so life is good. Life is freaking good. Um, I'm on vacation, and today is kind of cloudy out and rainy, so we're going to head to the library and rent a few books for the boys, and I might just spend my afternoon watching YouTube videos and catching up on you guys because I miss you and I feel like I have no idea what's going on with anybody. So um, thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really appreciate you. And yeah, let's talk about where I'm at. Where are you at in life, Caitlin? Like, what's going on? Um... I'm thinking I'm 37 weeks post-op. That's crazy. That's crazy. I think that's where I am. My eye is always watering. Like, what the hell? Um, so I think I'm 37 weeks post-op. I had surgery on October 12th. I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy, VSG surgery on October 12th, 2015, and Will Mass at Lowell General Hospital with Dr. Rebecca Shore. Um, I started this process... <laughs> which is really crazy, excuse me, um, in July of last year. So we're just about a year out from when I actually like had my first appointment and everything, which is <laughs> crazy. I ate one pepperoni and I'm like hiccuping, like I'm like dying. Um, so yeah, crazy, one year out. And when I weighed in the first time with them, I was 335. My weight on the date of surgery was 300.8. My weight last time I don't know if it was the last time I talked to you. I think it was last week when I filmed, but I don't know if you guys know where I'm at. But I was 300, 200 point, 208 pounds last week, um, point something. I don't even remember. And then this morning I weighed in at 206 even, which is exciting. Uh, seven pounds away from Wonderland. You know, I'm kind of accepting the fact that Wonderland will happen when it happens. My body will agree to let go of some of this fat when it wants to. So I am excited that I've seen a loss in the scale. That's obviously something that's exciting. But again, I am still on the kick of not letting that control my life and my outlook and everything. Um, so yeah, so it is a good thing, but not the be all end all of everything. So um, yes, what else? Ow. You guys have dyed my hairs. Look at how red it is in the roots because that's just the way that I work and I have no nails on my boyfriend is trying to guilt me and say we're trying to save for a house Caitlin but you spend money on your nails so these have been off for about two weeks and I'm pretty much dying and about to go get them on some point this week um so he can't talk me out of it so we'll see I feel like this is like I hate this tripod do you guys even understand I need a new tripod. I literally bought this one for videos, but it's like a hot mess. Ooh, so is my eye. So yeah, I feel like I don't have a heck of a lot to update you guys on. Um, hold on. Um, I will say that trying to like stay on plan, not on plan, but like on a routine, not being at work has been, I always have a trouble with it on the weekends, but like being on vacation has been exceptionally hard and I've only been on vacation for like two days. So I'm trying to get my water in as much as I possibly can. I have like, I can't stand the taste of regular water. So I use those little flavor square things. I just use, I think it's like a raspberry lemonade from Market Basket, which is just a local chain. Um, I don't really like the other one. So I've drinking, 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 drunken. I've been drinking this since July of last year when I had to start drinking water because I never drank water before, like my pre-op stuff. So yes, so um, I feel like I don't have a heck of a lot to report. I don't have, I mean, I feel like recently I've had a lot more um, NSVs than anything. I feel like mentally and emotionally, I've really recognized the changes that I've, I've made within myself, not only obviously the physical changes, but everything that I've had to do to change my mind and my state of mind and my how my emotions have changed. Um, yeah, so I think there's just been like little trigger situations that have brought me back to uh, my late teenage years, my early 20s, to my mid 20s, to up until where I got, you know, divorced from my ex or left my ex. And um, there's just been a lot of things that kind of have flashed back to really show me how much I have changed. And it's literally just been this past year that I've changed. Um, you know, just yesterday, like my kids, 
um, they came home from their dad's house yesterday morning and it was a beautiful day so I was like why don't we just go to the beach for the day my boyfriend unfortunately is not on vacation with us so it was just the three of us and it was really great but I just was thinking on the way up there like when I had initially left my ex um, with just the boys and myself I was terrified to take them anywhere on their own I never would have done it when my ex and I were together I relied on him a lot for interacting with people I would never you know call the landlord or anything like that I was just too too self-conscious too nervous I had too much anxiety and I feel like depression to really deal with anything on my own I always made my ex do that and if I were, had to go out grocery shopping and I had to take the kids I made him come with me because I felt like I couldn't handle having two kids I felt outnumbered and that was just a real big trigger for me anxiety wise so just thinking about that yesterday it just I don't know why but it popped into my brain as I'm driving up to the beach and I'm like I never would have done this even before last year I would not have done this on my own with my my own children I, I couldn't have handled it I would have made us stay home until my boyfriend would go with us because I just didn't feel like I didn't feel like I belonged in a part as a part of society I didn't feel like I could handle situations the same way other people could because of my size for some reason um not for some reason I always kind of pictured it like okay so if they are running down the beach and somebody snatches them my fat ass is not going to be able to grab them it's not going to be able to run after them in the sand to save my child if they go into the water and they get you know sucked out am I going to be able to run down there and save them like I have a lot of irrational irrational fears when it comes to things like that and I still do I still like yesterday I was like oh my god like the waves are huge I have to like be very careful because my kids are going to get sucked out and sharks will eat them I have a lot of issues when it comes to that stuff but um just be feeling more confident in my ability to protect my children um has has grown exponentially it's been incredible to just have the confidence in myself and again my abilities to to protect them but also to just to be able to interact with society to feel like I I belong just as much as the next person belongs in society has been huge um, you know I had the picture that I had shown you guys in the side by side the bathing suit picture a couple videos back was the last time that we went to the beach and I went with my boyfriend and oh my god it's so hot in here I'm like fanning myself um we had gone to the beach as a family and um I literally had to pep talk the shit out of myself to a put on a bathing suit and to be make myself participate in in life that week um you know i remember being you know telling myself you don't want to always have your children remember you as being behind the camera you want them to have the memories of you with them in their lives participating um so i forced myself to get in a, ba a bathing suit and i forced myself to play in the water and to participate my lovely you know mother-in-law took those fabulous pictures of me but i'm grateful for them because i have them as before shots but it was really difficult and yesterday I went to the beach in shorts and a tank top I pulled those bad boys off as soon as I got on the beach and I had my little tankini thing on and um, bathing suit bottoms and I literally lived in those like I didn't care I didn't care if my gut stuck out a little bit farther than the next girls if the, the girl in the bikini who's gorgeous and tanning and her butt's hanging out you know down down the beach from us that she looked way hotter than I did I don't I didn't care like I was literally focused on my children and I having fun uh, soaking in some Sun although I don't really look like it um, but I did tan you guys I'm pretty tan for for me I'm pretty tan um, but no it was just really incredible to be like I'm in a bathing suit I'm gonna be in a bathing suit all day I don't care I'm gonna lay out I'm gonna be in the water I'm gonna run because my child wants me to chase after him in the sand I'm gonna run in my bathing suit and guess what you don't want to see it don't look it's like a marvelous it's like an incredible aha moment like if they don't want to see you Caitlin they don't have to look that's on them you've done nothing wrong and you deserve to be a part of society as much as anybody else and I wish that I got that in my brain at 335 pounds because I literally I would hide myself I would do I would do everything in my power to stay out of other people's vision I would do everything in my power to stay at home not have to worry about what other people thought of me and now the fact that I can just say suck a what suck a what bro if you don't want to look at this don't look right it's incredible and again I feel like that's just something that I'm my brain is just 
changing. I feel more comfortable with myself and I'm just saying, who cares? If I'm not under 100 pounds, uh, 100 pounds, if I'm not under 200 pounds, doesn't mean that I'm not, you know, as good, as good a version of myself as I could be at 199 pounds. What is seven pounds going to do for me besides, I don't know, I don't even know how much that would like look at, off of my body. I would still have a gut at 199 pounds. I'm not a better person. I'm not a worse person because I'm at 206 or because I'm at 220 or because I'm at 280 pounds. Has nothing to do with the way, that, how much I weigh on the scale or the way that I look. Who I am is what dictates the kind of mother that I'm gonna be, the kind of friend that I'm gonna be, the kind of you know sister or daughter I'm gonna be, girlfriend, wife, whatever. Has nothing to do with my weight or the number on the freaking scale. It has to do with my personality, with my sense of humor, with my, you know, heart and compassion, the amount that I care for other people, has nothing to do with how much I weigh on the scale. And if you want to make it about how much I weigh on the scale, then shame on you because you're a shallow motherfucker. Okay, okay, okay. Um, okay, Caitlin, settle down. It's the heat, it's getting to me, you guys. It wasn't even that hot, but it's hot now. I've just really been enjoying life. I'm loving living life loving living life um, and I think I really and truly wish that every single person in the world could just be happy with themselves and their lives and where they're at in life trust me I do not have a perfect life trust me when I say I have challenges I struggle uh, you know I struggle financially I struggle with all kinds of things I don't have a perfect life but I am choosing to be happy with where I am I am choosing to embrace the positive moments in life rather than the struggles that I'm going through, you know, the issues that I have. My child is not listening and he is knocking on the door. So please go away until I'm done. So yeah, so I am really just focusing on living a better life, living a better version of me, who I am. And so far, so good. So far, I'm like really loving the changes that I'm seeing and um, the state of mind that I'm in. So there's that. That's really all that's changed this week. I mean, it hasn't even changed. That's just kind of where I'm at this week. Um, I've worked out maybe twice last week. I haven't even worked out this week. It's only Tuesday. Ooh, girl. Um, but yeah, so that's just, you know, that's where I am. I'm, like I said, I'm focusing more mentally and emotionally than I have been physically as far as working out and things like that. But um, that too will come. I feel like I lose weight when I stop going to the gym uh, like three days, four days a week. So, you know, if I start working out again this week, I'll probably have a gain next week. And that kind of is what it is. But I'm about to melt, you guys. I am going to go make my kids lunch and then we're going to the library. And then hopefully, like I said, I will be able to catch up on your lives and how everybody's doing. I thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Um, I thank you guys so much for putting yourselves out there for me to watch you guys. I, I literally find so much inspiration and motivation from watching everybody's journeys. It's unreal. How proud I am of like all of, not just like the people that I'm like friends with or whatever, but like everybody that posts themselves on YouTube, it's a huge thing to put yourself out there for people to judge and criticize you and to tell you're doing things wrong or, or whatever. It's a huge thing. So I am so thankful that you have chosen to do this and allowed us to kind of be part and take part in your journey. Because like I said, I find so much motivation and inspiration from you guys and the videos that you post. Uh, so many incredible tips and tricks that you guys have posted. So I just really appreciate you guys. I know that it's not necessarily always easy. <sighs> oh my God. Um, but I appreciate you. So I hope you're having a fabulous week, a fabulous day, whenever you're watching this day, night, evening. Um, I thank you guys for watching again. I will talk to you later. Bye guys.